you know, but that's, that's what makes Nicola a great player. You know, we're, we're going to him with six seconds, whatever's on the clock um, to score. But you also know that he's going to attract the crowd. And, uh, and that's what makes him, to me, the greatest player in the league is that he can beat you by scoring, but he also can see Monte Morris open and have the wherewithal, the confidence to give him a pass on time, on target. And Monte does the rest and knocks down the open three. Uh, I'm so proud of our team. You know, we're down 16, weren't playing our best basketball, but just talk about staying with it, staying with it. And we did that tonight. Um, and, and to outscore them 39-30 in that fourth quarter, um, you know, this is a hell of a way to en end uh, all these games going into the All-Star break. We're five and one in our last six. We have 24 games to go. I uh, hope our guys enjoy their break, but also make sure they get in the gym, stay ready so we can hit the ground running coming out. We can't ease our way into these last 24 games. Yeah, even in the first half, you know, uh, I, I think we had 26 bench points in the first half. Uh, Bryn Forbes was great tonight. Austin Rivers was terrific on both ends. Um, and that's the thing about our team. You know, like when you have guys like that playing, you're going to roll with those guys. I mean, Monte, Bryn, Austin, Aaron, Nicola. Um, and we got contributions from a lot of guys off the bench, as you mentioned. Um, you know, that's a very good team. And to, to get this win on the road with everything going on, uh, with, with us going on break tomorrow just speaks to uh, the togetherness and our ability to be in the moment and to stay present and not worry about tomorrow until after the game. And our guys celebrated. There were really big uh, applause and hugs from Monte Morris hitting that game winner. So a big game take came through. And uh, like I said, Mike, I couldn't be more proud of a team than I am right now. I think now we're eight games over 500, playing some of our best basketball against some really good teams. Well, I mean, you know, sometimes, you know, you, you do that almost out of desperation at times. And that speaks to the greatness of a Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, you know, not wanting them to get the ball to make the shot. Um, you know, Kevon Looney struggles a little bit at the foul line. So it worked the first time. Then he made two in a row. And then I thought Nikola Jokic, um, it's the little things that make Nikola Jokic a great player, a special player. Under two minutes, you can't foul off the ball but he's guarding Looney in a pick and roll and he takes the foul. So now it's, it's two free throws and that's it. Uh, and so he goes two for six down the stretch. So strategy worked tonight. It, sometimes it, it doesn't work, but it was just really trying to make him make free throws and get the ball out of Steph Curry's hands. Well, that's his nickname, Big Game Tay. You know, I mean, uh, um, it speaks to him being a, a very good player, staying ready. And once he cleared those concussion protocols, Chris, he goes out there, gets 13 points, six assists, four rebounds, and only one turnover. And, um, you know, again, as that clock is winding down, Nicole is going into the paint. And, you know, the, it, it, the clock is moving in slow motion. Is he going to go into his right hook? Is he going to drop step baseline and finish with his left? Or hey, let's forget about overtime. Let's kick out if we can get on this plane and get the hell home. So uh, it's, it says about Monte's kind of mental toughness and not being afraid of the moment. Well, you know, one of the big keys tonight was um, – well, the two main points of emphasis were defending the three-point line and valuing the ball. We, we were one for two tonight. We did not value the ball, obviously. That was a big issue the whole night. I don't know what our numbers were in the fourth quarter. I think it was much better. So that kind of slowed them down. We didn't fuel their break. Uh, but 19 turnovers for the game, 24 points. And this building usually makes it impossible to win. But I would say the, the, the three-point defense, uh, they were 10 for 34, 29%. This is a, an elite three-point shooting team. Uh, Steph Curry goes one of seven. Klay Thompson goes three of 10. If you want to beat this team, you got to somehow, some way, eliminate the, uh, the, eliminate the three-point line. And we did that tonight. So I think that was a big part of it. Three-point defense and then eventually finding a way to take care of the basketball and not beat ourselves.
Yeah, I mean, it's funny, you know, like um, I, I really try to remind myself never to take him for granted because he, he's a great player. I mean, like I don't, I, I try to do the same thing with my wife. Don't take my wife for granted. You know, she's, I'm lucky to have her. Uh, but Nicola is incredible. I mean, the, the way he sees the game, the, he's, he, I love to have like a, what his blood pressure is. He's cool hand Luke. You know what I mean? He's not eating the 50 eggs, but he's cool hand Luke. That guy is never phased. Boom. Oh, you're going to come easy pass. Let's win the game. Um, so uh, it, it's almost becoming expectant of Nikola Jokic, but you still marvel at the greatness. He can win the game with an assist like he did tonight. He can win the game with the block like he did in Toronto, or he can win the game by scoring 50 points. How many guys can do it in so many different ways? And that's what makes him truly like a, just a great, great player. Appreciate it, everybody.